Mm -hmm. Is it like, what, like a deep, dark family secret or something? Oh, hey, look at that. Hi. Hey, sorry, I didn't want to interrupt. And Poppy. Think about all the time that we spent together all those years ago, and then one day it was just, and you were gone. Uh, all the time that you spent together? Yeah. Uh, when I started college, your mom stayed with us. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to another bold and the beautiful review. So as it's playing out now, the way everyone thought that Bill was Luna's father, I don't think that's the case. And Poppy said outright that no, Bill is not her father. And she told Luna that she was not lying to her. Now, Luna kept pressing Poppy to know who her father was. She became distraught, asked Luna to drop it. Our respect for her mother. Luna wants to know why is it shameful or embarrassing or some big family secret. And then she says that and right on cue, Finn shows up. So they kind of threw us for a loop with today's episode and I actually put two possible choices out there. At this point, it's like, oh, okay, it has to be Jack. That's why Lee hates her so much. She found out that she slept with Jack and Jack has to be Luna's father and Poppy doesn't want anyone to know. That was my thought process at this time. I saw a lot of people on social media saying the same thing, but then as the episode went on, it was like, hmm, is there something else going on here? There's my poppy, this beautiful free spirit, and just lived life the way that she wanted to. She would literally close my computer while I was doing homework. <laughs> if I looked too stressed, we have a uh, spontaneous fast forward. Yeah. <laughs> no, we had a lot of times. Was I there too? Uh, no, this was about a year before you were born. What were the results on our CT scan? Okay. Okay. Why is Poppy standing in the door looking at Finn like this? Why is she looking at him like this? See, the writers and the producers are trying to make us go down a path to think something that we're like, no, it could not be this scenario. But we find out from Finn that Poppy stayed with them during his first year of college. Both of his parents were working hard and uh, she was there to look out for him during a very stressful time because he put a lot of pressure on himself because his mother was a doctor and his father was a lawyer. And then there was beautiful free spirit Poppy there to keep him company. Now I'm looking at, I'm like, look, they're describing Poppy like they used to describe Brooke all the time. Beautiful free spirit that followed her heart and that just kind of fell into these different little scenarios. I was like, now that's interesting. And we know the different crazy scenarios that the writers have put the character Brooke in over the years. And we also know that Finn has known that he was adopted his whole life. So isn't a stretch, would Belle go there to make Luna Finn's child, some drunken knight or some special mints? You know, Poppy's always popping those special mints. I was like, there has to be something that's going to come up with that because they keep showing her popping these special mints. Did something happen between her and Finn and she got pregnant and that's why she left? And it's not because of Jack or the hospital CEO, something with her and Finn. I'm wondering now, we know that it is not beyond the writers to go there. So if she speaks with Finn privately tomorrow, it will be interesting to see what, what is said. Drop them in the comments and let me, I might do a poll on it. Drop them in the comments and let me know your thoughts though. And what you think you feel for Thomas, that is just filling that empty hole in your heart. So are you saying that my feelings for Thomas aren't real? Honey, Thomas isn't the man for you. And if you accept his proposal, that would be the biggest mistake of your life. I would be so happy if, if you were my daughter-in-law. So as you can see, Ridge and Brooke are clearly on opposite sides of the Hope and Thomas situation. And I honestly think Brooke pushing so hard is going to push Hope more into Thomas's arms. But while Hope was having this conversation with Brooke, Thomas was telling Ridge at the office that he did pro propose to Hope and she told him that she needed more time and she was gonna wear the ring around her neck. So Ridge decides to go and see Hope and let her know that Thomas is a good man and he would be happy if she would be his daughter-in-law. I'm like, can we just take a minute? I mean, she just got out of this long-term relationship with Liam. Why does she need to jump into another marriage so quickly? Can they date for a while? Brooke, of course, on the other hand, is telling Hope that she cannot 
love Thomas the way that he wants to be, or she can't give him what he wants in a relationship, and that if she accepts that proposal, it would be the biggest mistake of her life. Then she goes to the office and talks to Thomas and tells him that she's worried about him, and she knows that Hope will never be able to give him the relationship that he wants. Now, as you can see, when Hope discusses her feelings for Thomas, she keeps saying care. She doesn't say love. She says, do you doubt that I care for him? That's very different than I'm in love with him and want to marry him because I love him that much. Now, we are in February sweets right now. And spoiler alert, the spoilers for this week do say that they reconnect and they have a passionate night towards the end of the week. But what I've seen floating around, I haven't done full research to see if this is true, I'm hearing that Emma is going to make an appearance and be alive. I don't know if it's true. Like I said, I haven't researched it yet, but that's what I'm seeing floating around. Now, if that is the case and Emma can tell her side of what happened the night of the accident, that is going to blow everything up. And like I posted uh, last week, um, Anika posted that she had a big day of filming. So it probably has something to do with the storyline. So we'll see how that all plays out. So let me know your thoughts. Do you think that Brooke is pushing Hope towards Th Thomas by constantly telling her that she needs to break it off with him? I said they had her in full Stephanie get up. She had on the pantsuit today and she was, she was freaking out and telling Hope, no, you can't do this. But those were the two major storylines that they played today. We'll see how this shakes out with Brooke versus Ridge since they are on opposite sides of the engagement uh, scenario and how long they will drag out the who is Luna's father storyline and will it be Jack, Bill, or Finn? But as always, thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like the video, share, and subscribe, and I will catch you on the next one.